That's nice. Good evening to all. This evening, I'm going to do a walking video into the Chamber Razor area in the parish of St. Joseph once again. Right now, I'm at Todd's Corner looking down to the road that leads back to Chalky Mount and into the parish of St. Andrew. So, this road will lead back to St. Bernard's Village, Chalky Mount, Parks Road, Mellows, and the site of the old St. Bernard School. And this road here, ahead here, takes you back to Todd's Corner, back to Sugar Hill, back to Harrison's Cave, Welsh Mahogany, Sturges, and into the parish of St. Thomas, as well as Sugar Hill. And this road here takes you back to Chimborazo, back to Branchberry, Coffee Gully, and back to Grant Adams Memorial Secondary School at Blackman's in St. Joseph. And they can also lead back to Punt's Gardens, you can lead back to Bathsheba and the East Coast as well. So I'm in Chimborazo again, Chimborazo in the parish of St. Joseph. St. Joseph is the smallest parish in Barbados and it's to the eastern side of the island as well. This is my mother's birthplace where my mother and aunts were born and uncles. In a nearby community, after Chimborazo, a place called Branchberry. This is where they were born. Look back at Chimborazo Road. So St. Joseph is the eastern side of the island. along with the parish of St. Andrew. So this is Chimborazo village in St. Joseph. Evening. Gonna look back at the road, the Chamber, chamber Wales Road. Chamber Wales is the second highest point in Barbados after Mount Hillaby, which gives awesome views of the East Coast as well. So this is my mother's community, where my mother was born and raised. Next community after Chamberazo, which will be Batchberry. <coughs> That's where my mother is from. Evening. Famous local spot that overlooks the East Coast. This is the spot that overlooks the East Coast, overlooking the Cambridge area, Cambridge and Chalky Mount area, and Dark Hole. Upper parts and lower parts, and you can see the east coast as well. Into the parish of St. Andrew and St. Joseph, right here. 
this is Bissett's Hill, Cambridge, Upper Parks and Lower Parks and Dark Hole. There we are here. Joseph, uh, the power sheet of St. Joseph and St. Andrew. Uh, the power sheet in Barbados best referred to as the Scotland district. And they're referred to as such because they resemble the Scotland countryside. And I look back at the East Coast. Yes, there's all Timber Razor Road in the parish of St. Joseph, and this is also a part of the Scotland district of Barbados, and it is referred to as such because it resembles the Scotland countryside in England. This is also a part of the countryside in Barbados. I said before, my mother, uncle, an aunt, one of my aunts from this community in a place called Blanchberry, which is the next community after Chimborazo. And also, my grandmother and my father, also from this area. Evening. Yes, there is um, walking to Chamber Razor Village. So this is also a building of architectural interest. It's a part of the Barbados National Trust, the property of the Barbados National Trust. So this part of St. Joseph is to, the cent is to the center, in the central part. So this is a walk to Chimborazo in the parish of St. Joseph. In Barbados. So, this road can also take you back to Bathsheba and the east coast of the island as well. Another look of the eastern end of again. In the districts such as Springfield and Lower Parks and Upper Parks, that area. See the big red and white ball, which is just outside of Hunt's Gardens at Castle Grant. Hunt's Gardens is a plant nursery. Hope 
we're looking at the power stop St. Joseph again, the upper parts area. We are now approaching Harper's. Harper's is the eighth district where is it? Harper's is also a part of Timberazo, but it is also where you will find the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses, the Sugar Hill Branch. Another view of the East Coast. Now approaching the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses, the Sugar Hill Congregation, which is at Harper's. This area is called Harper's, also in the Chamber Razor area. And we are approaching the Farmer Castle Grant Plantation, which is now Hunt's Gardens, or Hunt's Plant Nursery. Hunt's Gardens is known as the most enchanting place on earth. We will find a wide array of flowers and plants. It's open for tours as well from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Is the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses at Harper's. So Hunt's Gardens is like Castle Grant. Castle Grant, the former Castle Grant Plantation, is where Hunt's Gardens and Plant Nursery is. Now for Castle Grant will be my community. My mother and aunt, my uncle is from Branchberry. That will be the next community after Castle Grant, Branchberry. And after Branchberry will be Coffee Gully. And then you will meet the junction. The left turn will take you to Blackman's Corner, where you will end up by the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School. And it can take you back to Horace Hill or Bathsheba. And the right turn will take you back to Andrews Factory, Paris Hill, and back to Bridgetown. That's the place Chamber Razor looking back at the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. No portion Castle Grant. Castle Grant was once owned by a white guy, a Barbadian white guy by the name of Mr. Cox. But he Passed away years ago. My mother was told, told me stories about him when he was a little, a little girl. But now, Mr. Anthony Hunt, of Hunt, the owner of Hunt's Gardens and Plant Nursery, bought over the property. And it is now a plant nursery open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can come in and get your wide array of plants and flowers. And it's also open for tours as well. I planted over a video of Hunt's Gardens and Plant Nursery. Now what Castle Grant? Where you will find a big round ball, which is just outside of Hunt's Gardens, in the yard of Hunt's Gardens and Plant Nursery. So I will end the video by Hunt's Gardens and Plant Nursery at Castle Grant.
There's no like Castle Grant, St. Joseph. This is no Castle Grant, St. Joseph, approaching the Hunts Gardens and Flower Shop. I guess it is closed, but no, because it is usually open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I promise to take you guys to Hunts Gardens soon. This is the big red and white ball at Castle Grant, just outside of Hunts, in the yard of Hunts Gardens, which was once Castle Grant Plantation. My mother told me she used to walk through there. Oh, my mother, I mean, people say they used to walk through there as a shortcut to get to the, when they were going to school at the Grand Gardens Memorial Secondary School, which was once West St. Joseph. It was once West St. Joseph's composite, and then it was later renamed the Grand Gardens Memorial Secondary School. So this is Castle Grant now, the junction. The left turn will take you back to Branchberry and Coffee Gully. And the right turn will take you back to Bragg's Hill and Sugar Hill. Bragg's Hill is a steep hill. So this turn will take you back to Bragg's Hill. This is a steep hill, Bragg's Hill. That will take you back to Sugar Hill and Lamings and Area Hill. And this road here takes you back to the Hunts Gardens, where we end the video. <laughs> the big red on uh, white ball at Castle Grant Plantation. After Castle Grant, beyond this point would be Branchberry, the community where my mother is from. From here, you can see all into the St. George Valley. You can see all the Golden Ridge, St. George, which is where we will see the Golden Ridge pumping station. Golden Ridge is also in close proximity to the parish of St. Joseph, and it's on the way to Saint, it's on the border of St. John and St. George, but it's in close proximity to St. Joseph. Yes, guys. So this is the form of Castle Grant Plantation, which is now Hunts Gardens and Plant Nursery, which is known as the most enchanting place on earth. Hunts Gardens. Beyond this point will be Branchberry. As I said before, St. Joseph is in the, to the eastern end of the island, and it is best referred to as the Scotland District. St. Joseph and St. Andrew are the two parishes here in Barbados referred to as the Scotland District because they resemble the Scotland countryside in England. And they're the parishes with the most hills here in Barbados. And St. Joseph is the smallest parish as well. So, thank you guys for watching. And have a blessed evening.